Hello! In this video, I'd like to show you how to use the Energy Lab tool and the Seed firmware to optimize power on a video processing application. The use case we're looking at here is the Xilinx VCU Region of Interest Tracking Reference Design, which showcases video and deep learning capabilities of the Xilinx Sync UltraScale Plus MPSOC on a ZCU106 board. The objective is to minimize power consumption and improve the thermal profile while streaming 1080p video, including facial tracking. We start off with the Energy Lab tool. We have a description of the ZCU 106 board loaded. On the right hand side, we see the complete hierarchy of the description, including all the hardware details, as well as the application specific tasks and scenes. To configure the power management behavior at runtime, we open the seed configuration dialog. Here we start off with a preset. We select dynamic, which includes several optimizations of the PS, such as dynamic frequency scaling, dynamic idling of peripherals, as well as DDR optimizations. Additionally, we have defined application specific custom scenes that let us manage the power of the FPGA as well. This scene here, for example, allows us to provide the full functionality at a lower power point when the temperature exceeds a certain threshold. Now we save the configuration and go ahead to generating seed. First we select the HDF or XSA file and then we just wait for the seed.elk to be built. Once that's completed, we include that in our boot.bin and load that onto our board. So with the board connected, we go ahead and open the test and measure window in Energy Lab by connecting to the appropriate board and the appropriate COM port. And here we then have the measurements. We see the measurements plotted on the left and in numeric form on the right. We're at 3.8 watts while Linux is idle. We're now ready to start the region of interest tracking and streaming. We now open VLC on the host computer to receive the stream. Then we start the application on the board. The video produced by the ZU Plus is now displayed in VLC, while we can see that the power consumption has increased to a little over 4.2 watts, with most of it being consumed in the programmable logic domain. To put this into perspective, we are now also showing the original application in the upper half of the screen. You will notice that the power consumption is nearly 11 watts when using the standard firmware. This represents a 157% increase compared to the version using Seed shown at the bottom, all while performing the same video processing with region of interest tracking and 1080p encoding. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you would like to learn more about Agios or about Energy Lab and Seed, please consult our website at agios.com. Thank you for watching.